Hey, welcome, Chris. Bi, my name's Chris Wagner, and are you using fabric? Are you finding yourself that you're end of the trial, and you're like, oh no, I got three days left in my trial, but I've got to get a fabric capacity out there so I can keep using this incredible tool. Don't worry, I got you. We're gonna go into that in more detail. Hey man, if you're just chilling, trying to figure out some stuff about Power BI, well man, I got the right channel for you. This is the stuff. Like it, subscribe, you know, turn on the alarm bell. You know, come back. Don't miss any of the future videos. This is the place to be. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is all good. Ah. <laughs> all right, that guy's crazy. All right, so where are we going to go? We're going to head over to portal.actor.com and we're going to head right into creating a resource, okay? So first thing first, we're going to type in fabric and we're going to search for Microsoft Fabric Preview. There she be. All right, there's the one we want. Select that. Now out here, you can go in and see all sorts of information about fabric. This is just like the media write-up stuff, but it helps to make sure that you're clicking on the right stuff here. Now you see this, these icons, hopefully it's no longer going to be in preview soon, you know, but, uh, well, by the time you're doing this, maybe you're, you've, it's moved out of preview. So what well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on create. Okay. Now on this screen, we're going to be asking a number of different pieces of information. First things first is we have to enter our subscription. So what subscription are you going to get this build to or charge to? Uh, that's going to be your first thing that's out there. And then from within that subscription, you're going to define what resource group you want this to be a part of. Okay. So the other videos can go into like best practices around resource groups. I like to think of like, how do I bundle all my resources together? Uh, generally speaking, that is good enough. So I'm going to choose my Kratos BI central resource. And now I'm going to give it a name and you have to give it a name. That's all lowercase, no spaces, that type of thing. So I'm going to choose, uh, Eagle Eagle. There we go. All right. Now, oh man, there's already one out there. So, uh, something different than Eagle. Um, uh, how about Beagle? No, that's not good. Um, uh, how about I like to party? There we go. Uh, I like the party. Yeah. Do you like the party? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's, here we go. There, this is where we're going to get into what capacity do we want to go into and then what size. Now, big thing here, make sure you click on change size because take a look at that. Oh, got to zoom in here so you can see this. Okay. So look at this. You can spend... $270,000 a month on uh, fabric capacities. And if you find yourself needing $270,000 a month in fabric capacities, call Chris Wagner. I'm happy to help you. All right. Uh, so, but for most of you who are going to be viewing this video, you're going to be selecting one of the uh, SKUs that's up on top here. Probably going to be that F2. This is going to be your classic developer SKU that you're going to spin up and, and use for your development environments and hacking, slashing, that type of a thing when it comes to data. So that's what I need. So I'm going to spin up an F2. So I'm going to select F2 and then click on the select button down below and you'll see that the change in capacity unit is right there. Come on now, be that good. So you can see that's right there. It's pretty important for you to check on that. You do not want to have that $270,000 a month uh, capacity up and running. That's no fun for anyone, all right? So once it's in place, make sure you got your uh, fabric administrator in there. And then you can click on uh, tags, which some companies use tags to help organize their information. This is especially helpful for billing and um, management of your resources. So two different use cases that I really like. One, which is where does the cost go? So that billing side, so you know who's which department team or area owns that cost or for capacity management, right? So what's being done with these resources? Is this something that's gonna be for my data engineering, my data analytics or data science? Again, all around helping you manage your budget inside your company. I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna go to review and create. It's gonna do a little validation to make sure that like I haven't like accidentally clicked on anything uh, that's not supported or doesn't work. I'm then going to go ahead and click on create. 
And we're going to see that the deployment has started. Oh, I'm in the wrong way up there for that. Let me change where I am. There we go. So my deployment is in progress. You can see it right there. It's going to run for just a bit. This is a small capacity. It's going to be up relatively soon. We're watching it. Let's hit refresh. Deployment is complete. Booyakasha! So that means if I go to Power BI, now if you already have Power BI open like I have here, hit refresh. Trust me, you need to do that. So it refreshes all your connections and everything that's out there. I'm going to go to workspaces, go to new workspace. And if I go to the advanced button, I could scroll down and ah ha ha ha. Look, look at this beautiful thing. Ho, 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 ho. My fabric capacity is here. So I click on fabric capacity. It asks me which fabric capacity do I want? Because I could have many that's accessible to me. I've got it selected. Now I just have to give this uh, some names. Fabric uh, F2. We'll just call it that for now. Click on apply. Booyah. Now I've got my Fabric F2 capacity up and running, and I am ready to go. I'm ready to build out lake houses, data marts, uh, Power BI reports. You know, whatever I need to do, I can go ahead and do that. A big note, though, anything below an F64 cannot be shared to people unless they're in the workspace and, and they can't consume Power BI reports unless they, they're... Uh, yeah, at all. So just be aware of that. You don't need a license to, you know, you don't need a Power BI license to create fabric content, but you do need a Power BI license to, to come into just the workspace and consume that uh, as well. So just be aware of that limiting factor. All right. Okay. So what do you think? Pretty easy to get up and running inside of fabric. Once those trial capacities have gone offline, you should be ready to go now. If you have questions, these things aren't working, leave comments down below. Heck, hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on LinkedIn. Uh, or wait, they just changed the name of Twitter to like X. I don't know if this is going to be a thing. Like Elon's like, I play jokes on people. Maybe he's playing a joke on us. I don't know. It seems a little weird. Maybe when you're watching this video, it'll, X will have been a thing for decades. Who knows? Uh, but you guys have a fabulous day. Oh, what the heck? Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, share it with friends and family. Really helps feed the logarithm, especially if you, you know, I really appreciate it. If you found something valuable here, you have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.